absolutely gorgeous place. It's the closest thing I can experience as a crazy rich Asian. It was believed that this is the home of Chinese gods and goddesses. Wow. And then it's so cool and then after that you won't Wait! Hey. Oh my god! This will be a fun trip. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we're going to spend the next four days in Kuching to show you where to eat, where to go, who to see, where to stay, where to shit, where to shit, <laughs> which <laughs> to eat, which yeah. to eat, la. yeah, which to eat. I don't even know. <laughs> Basically, we just took a flight here. La. Of course, we took a flight, la, but did you know that there are direct flights to Kuching daily and it's only one hour away from Singapore via Scoot, Asia, and Malaysia Airlines? We just landed and it's about 2 pm now and we are going to have our lunch first. Currently, we are at Gala City, which is a 10 minute drive away from the airport. So, the first place we are going to visit is Sauro Cafe. No prizes for you to guess what are we eating there. Okay, so for the first destination, we are having Sauro at Sauro Cafe. What we're having is a variety of top dishes, which is their Zhao Pai. Sauro, we got Ru Ro. I like the sauces that come with it. We got the chili sauce and the black spicy sauce, I guess. And yeah. what she's having is a carbonara with Sauro. So, right, it's a very different carbonara because it has the Zha Chong on it. It tasted like um, very Asian, but right. then yet it's carbonara. Right. So, I was like, hey, this one very interesting. So, uh, this place is about 10 minutes drive away from the airport, it's not too far. Come here and check it out. If you love Sao Road, you will definitely love this place. We just checked in our hotel and we are staying at Hilton Hotel which is just a 10 minute drive away from the airport and apparently it's a 5 star hotel. Usually when I check in a hotel right, the free food they give right, it's either very little or not nice or just food. But this one, wow, this one they got fancy like chocolate wave with a lot of macaroons and other chocolate. And then there's this one particular chocolate I eat, a uh, white color one. Uh, I don't know what the hell it is. Fantastic, very, very nice. Next up, we are heading to Atta Street. What is Atta Street? Okay, Atta Street is known as Carpenter Street. It's known for their rich culture and history. So we are going to walk to Atta Street because it's just a five minute walk away from Hilton Hotel. So we are actually traveling with our client who is Richard. He's helping us carry our bag for some reason. <laughs> I feel so bad. But he's very nice. He's going to bring us around uh, to, you know, check the place out. But your hand like... Hey, hey, I, 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 I'm a photographer. <laughs> 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 Yeah, dustbin looks so cute. Please cut the B-roll of the dustbin. No B-roll. Come on. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Go with. Go with. Hey! Hey! So now we are at Round Tower 1886 Cafe, uh, which is just across of Atap Street. They are famous for their Gula Apong avocado shake. Gula Apong, right, it's basically the cousin of Gula Malacca. So it tastes very similar to Gula Malacca, just but it's that a it's a healthier yeah, version of healthier it. Healthier version. So it's actually low in GI, which means diabetic people can also consume. Nigel just realized that he forgot to shoot the B roll of the drink that we were talking about. Yeah. So this is the half drank one. Look at, look at, look at the rest of the avocado. So that's how good it is. It's very rich in flavor. One interesting thing, right, is their straw, right, is made of rice. So it's not like the shitty paper one that we always use. It doesn't get soggy as fast, and you can actually eat the straw. Okay, okay. show us. I will eat it to demonstrate. It's oh. oh, very crispy, oh. Hello, Anya. The fish can go in, cannot come out, right? Ah. So fish in Chinese is like yu, yeah. yu, yu right? Ah. So if you put in the door. It means the money can also come, oh. come in, cannot go out. Zhao Chai, Zhao Chai. Zhen Da, I want. Zhen Ni Bu Gan. What? Buy lah. Eh, peer pressure don't move on me, okay? Last day, last day, last day. <laughs> Major, let me warn you again. Peer pressure doesn't work on me. <laughs> Please reflect on yourself. <laughs> we are at La Pao and they are known for their traditional Sawa Wakian food. What's the Sawa Wakian? Bing Zhu de Su. Oh, look at try. Uh, good. Actually, when I've been to Bintulu, right, I got tried before. So the food a bit. Uh, interesting, uh, interesting. Interesting. Because I saw the menu yeah. just now, the name of it, like. Great, great, great. And the discussion yeah. is like, ooh, I'm excited, but he's not so. Like. And apparently, uh, they won some awards. So we're gonna give it a try. Let's go. 
our dishes just came. There's a lot of dishes, but I would like to bring your attention to a couple more special ones, okay? One of it is called the Medin Vegetable, which is only grown in Sarawak. You cannot eat this anywhere else in the world because when you pluck this plant out, right, it will die within three days. It's a, it's a wild vegetable, right? Yeah, it's in the a, forest, right? Yeah. Another dish that is only in Sarawak is umai. Umai is basically a raw fish salad. The taste and look resembles a bit like ceviche, so it depends whether you like it. It's a quiet taste, I would say. It doesn't taste like I can just taste onion. Right. Yeah, the texture tastes like a prawn. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a prawn fish to me. Okay. Oh. I like. I want to introduce the tempoyak. Tempoyak is actually a fermented durian paste. So how they make this uh, tempoyak dish right is when the durian is over right and then they don't want to waste it so they put salt and then they just ferment it into a dish and then there's chicken inside. So it's kind of like a durian soup. I don't know. It smells like normal to me. La. When I just like Wow, 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 Actually, to me, like, very garlicky taste. Very garlicky, yeah. Everybody tasting different. Like it? Yeah, it's really very familiar taste. Like, it's as if your mother cooked some Yeah, it's really very familiar taste. Like, it's as if your mother cooked some Kung Pao tea for you. Ah, it's a very familiar taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then it's with durian, but you cannot taste, it's not like chao sheng or what, it's not, it's really not, really addictive. Okay. I, will, I, I like it. If you want to know which is our favorite right? you see the red of the dish that is finishing very fast right? is this one, the midin. I like this one, the midin. Yeah, Richard, uh, another round. Can, uh, tomorrow we continue midin. Right, let's go. We're at Chung Hui Cafe, which is uh, five minutes away from our hotel, and we are here to have Zhenzong breakfast, the authentic local breakfast, and they have like golo mein, laksa, pork porridge, papaya, zhenzo, xian mai. Apparently, there's a lot of locals here, so that's a sign that it's good, lah. We saw our food is here. So this is dark sauce golo mein, <laughs> then we got a white sauce golo mein, which is original, lah. Yeah. Then this is char siu sauce. Yeah. Yeah, which is color. red, red color. Okay. I'm gonna try the original one first. It's the first time I see kolomi with sauce below. <laughs> Usually the kolomi I eat mm. super dry. Wow. This is very good. This is very good. This is what we came here for. The original is really good. The sauce right, is not the oily kind. It's not really good. Of course, the, the noodle is cute. Yeah. I feel the sound comes from the fried onion or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it's more of the cha chong the way. Mm. Of course, the cha shu sauce. You asked me to blind taste between the white and red. I'm not going to tell you too much of a difference. No, I feel the cha shu one sweeter. Okay, let's try the dark sauce one. Wow. Yeah? This is different from the other yeah. two. It's a bit on the sour side, but it's in a good way because I feel like it's more Thai way. Yeah. If in the morning, like you know. Okay, but my favorite among these three will be the white one. The Same. original. I like the original also. Okay, so I think the winner here for me is the Pfizer Kolomi. I always very amazed by Kolomi because right, like there's no sauce or what, but it's so flavorful. I don't even like pork, but this is so seductive. <laughs> Dun, dun. Okay, so we are on the way to Bako National Park. We are on the Sapan. Sapan or a small boat. So we are going to go trekking. We are going to go trekking. We are going to go trekking. But also, good question. We are going to go trekking. This one is for the beauty shop. You can see a beauty shop, man. You know, Xiao Tian, right? Visually, right? Looks very good. Mama, she talks, right? Let's see. Hey, what's up? Do you have that girl's face? Actually, I'm the one. <laughs> As you can see, on my left, there is the, I don't know what, rock. And then as you can see, on my right, there is a couple rock. Oh, I frog. Oh, I frog hit. <laughs> we are at Borneo Culture Museum Cafe. We are in that cafe to eat and many, many dishes. <laughs> it's really a lot. There's really a lot of dishes. It will appear that she is in love with umai, so she's now on a quest to find all the umai dishes. The traditional food fusion that they have is the umai fish pizza, and then the umai uh, wild fern salad. Wild fern is the midin la. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. And then lastly, I have to bring your attention to this giant ass oyster. I just want to show you how big the oyster. 
用你的脸来 compare。It's the biggest oyster I've seen. This is damn big. <laughs> it's really like really fresh, uh, creamy. Mm -hmm. I was quite concerned because I tell I tell our guy that every time I eat, I get busy dollar. He said this is a confirmed fresh one, and it is really quite fresh. Yeah. Wow, it's so fresh, eh? <laughs> Tastes like the sea, eh? <laughs> wow. wow, lost at words, ah, lost. Lost at words, lost of words. Lost for words, ah. We are at Borneo Culture Museum, and this is the biggest museum in the whole of Malaysia. Not the biggest in Sarawak, yeah. it's the biggest in Malaysia. It's about 2,000 plus square meter big, la, and there's five levels of it. Gonna start at level five, so we are looking at objects. When a museum has a sign that says, please do not touch, you don't touch it. You know why? You see? What is this? You don't know why is this, right? You think it's just a piece of wood, right? It's not. This is actually the tribe coffin. They will hollow out the whole trunk, and then they will put bodies inside. Wow! They signed this during the independence of Sarawak. And you see, uh, that time Singapore is inside. You see the word Singapore, the last third line. Oh. Maka Singapore Sabah. So Singapore is still inside Malaysia that time. Oh. Wow. Wow. It's a VR experience. Uh. VR experience. Niger tried to bring to you, but no point. Hey. Hey. We have just arrived at Le Tian and this restaurant is specialized in selling this fish called Wang Pu Liao. Tempura fish. Allegedly, it costs around $2,000. And what's so special about this fish, right, is that it's only found on top of mountains. Their diet mainly consists of fruits. <laughs> By eating a lot of fruits, their flesh will become very Fatty. Fatty. Also, another special thing is their scales are edible. Over here, right, the uh, retail price, right, two kg, uh, is one thousand ringgit. But in Singapore, you want to eat the same fish, it's about two thousand sing onwards. Mm. So we are very curious, and we're gonna find out how it tastes like. Okay, so the Wang Pu Liao Yu is finally here. It looks very tender as well, it feels very tender. So we're gonna try it while it's hot. Wow! It's almost like milk in your mouth. It's like the Wagyu of fish. Milk or sing wei. Completely fresh. Yeah, it has a nice tender bite to it, but it really, after that, it just melts in your mouth. Their diet is mainly consists of fruits, especially this fruit called windmill fruit. Put a picture here. I don't know how it looks like. Okay, so we are trying the Yu Ling. They took out the scales and then they deep fry it. I'm not sure what they fry with, but let's give it a try. Wow. Wow. It's fire. It's potato chip. I would imagine this is a very good beer food. You eat it, you can't stop it. Yeah, thank you. So you like fish, right? So you should be the most... It's like a fish connoisseur. Correct. Kind of. Wow. It's so good. Wow. It's amazing. Amazing. I'm gonna try now. Hey, it's a good one. 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 It's a Okay, we are at Co 55 and unfortunately we need to check out soon. But I want to tell you about the experience we had here. Ting Shuo is the most luxurious villa in Sarawak. This entire resort only got about 28 rooms. So it's very exclusive and quiet. It's the closest thing I can experience as a crazy rich Asian. So like our villas right were on top of the sea. So it's not like those beach villa but it's more of really like sea view kind of mm -hmm. villa. And the sea view uh, is the South China Sea. Unfortunately it rained but it still looks very beautiful. I can only imagine if it's a clear day and then we get to see the sunrise and sunset. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous place. I highly recommend if you come to Sarawak, right, this is the place to stay. But the time has come, we have to check out and we are heading to Sarawak Culture Village. So we should see what they do. What you want? Nothing, I just want, want to film the view. <laughs> it's so nice. I'm the viewer? Yes. Oh. 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 More passion, more passion. Wah. Wah.
At the entrance of the Sarawak culture village, and as you can see, uh, this uh, kuching is right on me. Very passionate. Uh, very meows. Pas I'm not sure what to expect, but apparently there is a cultural performance. And then we are going to have lunch here uh, to eat the uh, you know, traditional cultural food. So we will find out what's there for us. I think she's in your bag now. I don't know what is she doing or is he doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's very <laughs> passionate. It feels like it's coming to my face. How passionate? Well, Okay. Oh. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Covet and cash, I never lack though. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. So we just done watching the cultural performance and I was invited in the midst of the Orang Ulu Ulu show and then he asked me to do like some dance and then there was like some free butt shake from me. Free butt shake? Yeah, he asked me to do she some really did the free butt shake and then he asked me to take out my <laughs> pants eh. and then he still asked me to blow harder. Wait, 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 blow hard. No, I, I blow very hard. I blow very hard already eh. But, but I cannot uh, shoot. Ask her to blow that. Blow that, okay? Blow the but she didn't blow hard enough. So yeah. the guy asked her to blow harder. So you can't hear it. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So Orang Ulu is the, like the one of the tribe lah. Then they they hunt for stuff and then they use duck to kill or like to hunt that kind and of thing. And then they got the scream. Then yeah, they got a scream to yeah. scare away spirits. Yeah. So basically, this Sarawak culture village, right? You will get to learn about the tradition of the seven tribes that is in Sarawak. So actually, just now I saw the guy on stage, right? He was actually pointing to Ryan, Aye. but he, he pushed me out. No, I don't want to be responsible. No, I need to show no, no, no. He's yeah. actually pointing to Ryan, but right. Xiao Chen had to oh, save right. him. Xiao Chen save, save all. Then I have to go to him and give him a butt shake. Uh, no. Do you think the audience want to see her butt shake or my butt shake? Yep. Your butt shake. You never know right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, enough of the butt shaking. No more shaking. You hungry or not? Yes. Okay, Hiring. just nice, right? There's this Budaya restaurant which is inside Sarawak Culture Village. Yeah. So let's go! So we are in a bit of a situation. Why? Because we mounted the Insta360 to the front of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see at the front of the vehicle, <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> so we are now uh, backtracking to go and find the Insta360. God damn. No, all's good, all's good. All's good. 360 restaurant. Are you hopeful? Yes, very hopeful. Okay. We will cut to when I found it. Okay. <laughs> I told y'all to cut to when I found it. And I did find it. And I did find it. I could find her! I could find her! Ah! 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 That's the design. You love how it is. That's the design. Actually, Nigel got pay with it. So I guess the first pay with is going to this. Oh no! Hell no! Yay! Is it rolling? Cannot be rolling yet. Okay, we are now at Bonio Happy Farm. It's raining now, so the activities that we will be doing is mainly indoor one. Yeah, so yeah. there will be like arowana, bunny, and we will do zip line. Yeah, although it's raining, uh, we're still going to do the zip line. Scared, uh. I like a scared. Hey, I do zip line with her one. Or I also got to do absolute one. Or. It's also home team. Or. I'm a rescuer. Wow, 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 wow. 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 I say people like that, they're not going to do it. Just now, Xiao Chen said you're like a bit scared, like trembling. Or. Hey, guys, how you already show it? Ah,谁？这个是我，这个到我得摔。啊，哪一个王八蛋？有了哪一个？啊，这个我给你看，这是金，这个。哇，哈哈哈哈哈哈！哇，哇，哇，哇，哇，哇，哇，哇，哇，
Your pants like a bit wet there. A bit wet, huh? Yeah, a bit wet there. It was faster than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I will highly recommend it, especially if right, you don't want to walk over the whole circumference to come here. You take this very fast. This is really a man. I think that it's very kids friendly and senior friendly. Yeah, la. yeah definitely can. Can try. Just now when you're gliding down, right? Who yeah. was the one screaming? Ah, uh? we cut like. I think he was some... Chin Wai. He scared we kick his face. <laughs> I think it's him. Uh. You see, so you see his position. Uh. Hey. Guinea pig ah? Oh, guinea pig. I forgot, I forgot. Hey, you're not from NTU. NTU doesn't know. I don't know. Guinea pig ah? I'm not a veterinarian. Veterinarian. Dude, this is nursery. They also know. Nobody wants to eat your... Hey, here you go. Come on, Shabby, you man. Oh, it's like Snow White. It's right there. The spider. You can't see. It's like thin, but very gigantic. Can you see? <laughs> because we are late, we are not going to go every station, but there's a lot to do here. Like, you can see Monitor Lizard, we just now went to the guinea pig farm. There's also Arowana farm, there's monkeys, there's owls, there's buffaloes. Uh, a lot of things to do. Lah. So, uh, do plan ahead before coming. But now we are going to ride horse. Ah yeah, now we are also going to ride horse. So this is my first time riding a horse. I don't really know what to expect. But this horse looks very, very tame, so I think it will be fine. Can't eat. This is not a Taylor Swift concert. Eh? Hey, Chang Zhenjie, I'm right horse. <laughs> okay, ma. To cut bangs, ah. Eh, yes, ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice hair cut, eh. <laughs> Why your face? Face mask. Face mask. Like brush, like that. <laughs> So So what do you do for a living? I can't answer. I cut my hair slay. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't get to ride the horse because of the weather. It's raining heavily, and uh, but I did get to feed them. Cute with the sleigh haircut. I didn't know Ben took off to come to Sabah also. Eh. Look. Really? My God. Ben, eh. Ben. Okay, last Sabah, eh, Ben. Hey. We're just done with the Borneo Happy Farms, and it's a pity that it rained so that we couldn't do a lot of activities. But overall, it's a very very pleasant and nice place. The staff here are very, very welcoming. Yes. They're very hospitable. I feel very happy coming here. That's why it's called Borneo Happy Farms. Next up, we are heading to Borneo Highlands. And the guide told us right, we have to go before 6.30. Because the sky will be very dark and it's very dangerous to drive. Yeah, they say it's very dangerous to drive up. So, so we're going to go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, you can't sunrise, but the sun already rise already. Unfortunately, it rained today, but uh, I've got to say, this feels like Genting. It's very cooling. I like it. The top of the highland to see cloud sea. Suppose a cloud sea, Yun Han. A sea <laughs> of. Yun No, uh, Yun Khan. Right? Yun uh, A sea full of clouds. Oh, your sun sea. So uh, this is the location to see the cloud sea. Actually, when you step one step forward, right from here, you reach Indonesia. So right now we are still in Sarawak. This Let's go. Model. Let's go. Take a big step, guys. Welcome to Indonesia. <laughs> Selamat pagi. <laughs> Woo! 
So yesterday after the farmland, right, we went back to our homestay around this area. There's a couple of homestays here that you can uh, find. It's very like quiet and very very peaceful. La. But I think that this is a view to die for la, because it's it's really very beautiful. Do you see my twin today? Oh, she, she wore the outfit that you all bought for me. They say some people right, are so beautiful, right, they can wear anything and still look good. I think today we debunk that theory. Wow! This is better. Yes, So right now, we are at Fairy Cave to see, obviously, caves. Lah. It's one of their attractions in Sarawak. I heard that it's very, very beautiful. If uh, you are coming here, right, the most difficult part, right, <laughs> will be the first part where you walk up the... I feel like that was like 50 flights of stairs. Lah. Hey, it was like... Three levels only eh. The three flights of stairs, yeah. It's 50 flights, I'm very, very yeah. sure. Then still got one big flight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact about this fairy cave is that it was believed that this is the home of Chinese gods and goddesses, including Wang Zizi lah. <laughs> so you see there's many halls up there, right? Inside got bags. Oh. You try to shine, huh? you try to shine those holes, huh? Some of them go, still got bats inside. Oh, it's it's like... <laughs> Just now you told oh. us last flight of stairs. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you're like a fool. Hey, this, one, this one is like more natural stairs. Like. Natural <laughs> stairs. Look at the amount of stairs. A lot of natural stairs in the top of my head. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 that guy this will be a fun trip. Can you please talk to him for a minute? How does it look? Look, there's the stand right that asks you what figures do you see from the formation, the natural formation. Look at Ryan's toe! I ran it! We are at Premier 101. Why do you think it's called Premier 101? Feihua. They have 101 stores. That's why it's Premier 101. We can't possibly eat all 101 stores, but we got food from some of the stores. Apart from their usual, like, fried mee tai mak, tau kuo tiao, fried noodles. They also got their mani cai and sambal sotong. But what are the special dishes, right? Is this tomato sun mian and this crispy o jian. So we're going to try the o jian first because I think the o jian is Really kind of special. Yeah, it's very big, huh? Wow. How? I never tasted anything like this before. Imagine like koropok, but koropok is crispy all the way. This one is white tray nei su. So inside is like very fluffy. Most of the things that we are eating here, a lot of work. Here. The last dish I'm gonna talk about is of course this tomato sambian that is highly raved by Nigel. <laughs> but then this one is actually kolomi. Ah, it's different, it's different. Right, right, right. Yeah. Basically, Premier 101 sells like their local cuisine food, right, la, right. which is very like zicha style. Be it their breakfast, lunch food, or their dinner food, right? This is the place to come in. I think when you come to the coaching, right, this is the first place you should come because it's just 10 minutes away from the airport. And then you get to try a bit of everything. And then subsequently, the next few days, you just go find the best version of each thing. So be sure to try it out. We have come to the end of our four day, three night trip in Kuching. <laughs> meow! Meow! Well, I don't know why when she meow, a lot of people like her. <laughs> Before we dive into what we like and what we don't like about our trip, we want to thank our sponsor, Status, and of course, Richard. Oh my god! Richard's the best client ever, man. We can't even speak Malay, yeah. and he just made sure everything is good, and he is our sugar daddy. Alright! Not only he helped us with our luggage, he helped us with our equipment, he, bring, uh, he make sure we are well fed, we are well taken care of, we are well traveled. When we stay at the homestay, right, we realize we don't oh. have a towel. I was just casually telling him, it's okay, la, we, we, we can use tissue paper. We just suck it out. Uh, we just suck it out. Never mind. Then he drove down all the way, bought the towel for us. I mean, wow, yeah. so, uh, I would love to see more of him. 
he really won Richard. the best client of the decade. Uh. Richard. Yeah, so Ryan, what you like? Okay, what I like about this year, okay, I think one of my most memorable experience is of course Co 55. I'm a creature of comfort. I go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I like luxury, I like comfort. I would just hands down say la, of all the 50 over cities I travel to, right? That has to be the best looking and most comfortable place I ever stayed in. And of course, the people of Sarawak is very, very hospitable. They make you feel welcome everywhere. They greet you with a smile and they... I don't know, man. I think this uh, service uh, is the best service I have ever received anywhere. Yeah. Uh, then, yeah, what, what do you like? Huh, actually, what... Okay, everything is overall, la, I have to say, the experience is... Don't talk about the phone, I'll tell you something. Which time I like it? Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, I feel that overall, my experience uh, for Kuching is very very good because I, I didn't expect Kuching to be like this because mm. I have Kuching friends they always tell me I are Kuching very boring, uh, nothing to do but no, there's so no. many activities but we went to the ferry cave okay. and then we also we went to the museum yeah. we went to uh, watch a cultural show we went to a lot of places to eat we went to Borneo Highland, the border of oh, Indonesia and Malaysia yes. Actually, just a lot of things to eat, a lot yeah. of things to do also, yeah. and a lot of things to learn. Correct. Yeah. And our guide told us, right, that actually four days trip not enough one. But I have to say that this trip, right, wouldn't be that good uh, without the crew also. Oh, yes. Wow, you see. Even that agree with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. good, very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they really work very hard. Like, and yes. I feel that it's not about the destination, it's the people you travel with. Yeah. And if you are thinking for your destination to come during the November holidays, I highly recommend Kuching because you're not going to spend a lot. But you're going to see a lot, eat a lot, and meet a lot of nice people. And November not so hot so. Ah, November not so hot Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is something that I don't like. La. Ah, yeah. The sun here. Yeah. Very hot. Okay. But when you go to the Borneo Highlands, it's mm. not that hot. Uh, the cave is also not that hot. So uh, just wear light la, when you come here. Yeah. But is there anything that you don't like about this trip? Because we tried a lot of stuff that oh, we okay, never okay. tried before. You okay, know? okay. But this is just me, okay? I love the local hawker food and the street food. But mm. the cultural food may be a bit off too off for me. Oh, you mean the ethnic food? Ah, uh, but this is one of umai. Yeah, oh, right. I tell you, I can. Yeah. I Almost every day we will order umai, yeah. we midin. order midin. Yeah. But I love the money type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it suits me. Like, yeah. it's, it's something that you can't find in Singapore. Doi, 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 doi. It's really like only in Sarawak. Oh, right. you, can't, you can't find mm. midin in Singapore. Okay, lastly. Of course, I want to thank Xiao Qian for being such a nice guest. I think our entire overkill, right, love working with her. Wow! Really, really. I will cry really. Eh. Traveling with her has been a joy. She's not princessy and she really helped us with our equipment, carry our things. She talked with us, she made everybody feel welcome. She made an effort to have a conversation with everybody. So I really enjoy working with her. So be sure to follow her on our socials. And as always, please remember to follow all our socials. Click here for more. Click here, subscribe and cut to the bloopers. So, Richard. Yes, it's the end of the trip. Yes, four days is over. It's over. Yep. Happy or not, you don't need to take care of us anymore. Okay, I will bring you two more times, okay? Uh, two more times? <laughs> yes. Also to Sarawak, also ah, to Sarawak. Yes. Wow. So how's the experience working with Ryan and Xiaoqian? Okay, if not good, right, I won't say I will bring you two more times. Uh. For Ryan and Xiaoqian, right, it's very professional. And of course you, your team, okay? It's very professional in my opinion. I would like to let you to have more rest, but you guys are really like chong 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 all the way. So I really uh, enjoy the trip that uh, I can work with you all and also look up for next time. Sibu and Miri. Yeah. Wow. Welcoming man. Huh? Huh? I'm speaking the truth, what? I just noticed that you're here. I I I I I never noticed that you At least I noticed you right, Nigel. <laughs> Is that cool? Is that cool? Is that cool? Is that cool? You hope that's too much.